You're gonna thread the string through the cup, just like this. Whoop. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you super cool old radio CD player thing. I've never seen one like this before, but it had a note on it that said, turn me on for a laugh. I like jokes, do you guys like jokes? I figured let's try it out. But I'm just not sure how to open this or how to turn it on. There's so many random different buttons and- Love. Did you guys hear that? I think it said love. <laughs> A joke about love, okay, that's kind of interesting. Now what else can we do here? Let's see. Uh, this one. Accept. Accept, did you guys hear that too? Okay, love, accept. I think we're getting somewhere. I heard something. I hear, do you guys hear something? 
Okay, almost Forgive. there. Forgive. Forgive. I know you guys heard that too. Okay, so we got love, accept, wait a minute. I know what this is, love, accept, forgive. That's LAF. That's what we talk about here at Springs all the time. That's not really a joke, but that is something super important because that's what we need to do for one another. Love, accept, and forgive each other. Now, you know what? This week, we're gonna be talking about sound. Sound, we heard some sounds from this thing. And we're also learning about focus. Now, focus is when we're gonna focus on God and we focus on God, we learn more about him. So we're gonna be talking more about sound and I have some friends that are gonna be sharing some more about that today. And specifically how we can hear from God. So let's take a look. Hello. Hey. Hey. Where are you right now? Yeehaw. You're hearing all of these sounds and it's taking you on a journey, maybe to the wild, wild west. All because of what you're hearing. <laughs> Sound is so important to the way we interact with the world. Here, I'll show you why. Okay, okay, okay. It's a gnome. It's a gnome. Okay, okay. I'm sorry if we spooked you, but we can do this because of one reason only. You didn't hear us coming. Sure, okay, you saw us coming. You saw Charlie here. This is Charlie. <laughs> I named him Charlie, he's a no. <laughs> you saw Charlie fall right onto the table, but we were able to give you a little jump scare because we process sound faster than we process sight. Even though the speed of light, 299,792,458 meters per second, is faster than the speed of sound. A measly 340.29 meters per second. Wait, hold on. So you're saying mm -hmm. the gnome, even though I saw it hit the table, I didn't hear it at the same time? Uh, wait, hold on, check it out. So we see Charlie fall onto the table, but what we see doesn't reach our brain until about a little less than a quarter of a second. Really? Yeah. Like, now, 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 now. Yes, yes. Now, now. As opposed to sound, which gets to our brains faster at 0.05 seconds. No, 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 no,
If only I had a sense that could warn me when someone was sneaking up on me. Acting aside, that's the point. We can only see in front of us, but we can hear everywhere. All I wanted to do was bake a pie. <laughs> Too bad for my buddy over there. Sound waves are hitting us all the time. But what about sound waves we can't hear? More on Closer Look after this. Does anybody have any flaws? I've got a little berry stuck in my teeth. It's time for birthday buddies! If you guys have a birthday in June, happy birthday! We're so excited to celebrate you. And if you have a friend or family member whose birthday is in June, we hope you have the best time celebrating your birthday. Now we have some special birthdays we want to shout out to Jackson, to Min, Christian, Chase, happy birthday, Ashley, Athena, Raphael, Mackenzie, Talia, Nyla, Tenley, and Juliet. Happy birthday, you guys. Hope you have an awesome birthday this June. And now, back to our lesson. All right, so if I, if I knock down the kitchen wall right there, then, oh yeah, then that leads to the bedroom. And then, oh, and that way, that way I don't have to get out of the bed to go to the fridge. Oh, hey everyone. So I got a set of blueprints right here. Um, blueprints are basically a drawing of a building before it's built. Or maybe like the instructions to your Legos. They help tell the builder how to build something so that the building makes sense. Now, if you're sitting in a building right now, it was designed by someone who drew up a plan. Then they gave that plan to a builder so that they knew exactly how to build the building so that it would be the right size and that it would be safe to go in and out of and have enough bathrooms. Uh, really? Pretty much any building you go into had a lot of thought go into it before it was built and add a blueprint. Well, except for that fort I built when I was five, definitely didn't have blueprints. Yeah, that one had no thought going to it. But our Bible story today comes from the book of Matthew, and it talks about building our lives on a solid footing. Now, let's say you can't see these plans very well here. What if it was out of focus? It would be pretty hard to see how to put together the building. That's kind of what our Bible story talks about today. It comes from the book of Matthew, and it's something that Jesus said. He said, So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. He builds his house on the rock. The rain comes down, the water rises, the winds blow and beat against that house, but it does not fall. It is built on the rock. But everyone who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man. He builds his house on the sand, the rain comes down, the water rises, the winds blow and beat against that house, and it falls with a loud crash. So I have two model houses here. The first one my friends and I are gonna build on a pile of sand. All right, here goes nothing. Woo, all right. Uh, this sand is making it really difficult. It's impossible to get this thing level. Okay, well, it's standing at least, but let's try to build it on rock and see how it turns out. Now that is a house. Alrighty, now it's time for the storm. Not bad, not bad at all. And now for this guy. Hmm, 
Well, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty clear which house we'd want in the storm. Jesus told his disciples that whoever puts his words into practice is like the wise man. Now, what does that mean for us today, 2,000 years later? Jesus isn't exactly standing right in front of us to tell us what to do. But here's a couple of things that I think are pretty exciting. We have the Bible, and in the Bible, there are these four books right at the beginning of the New Testament that we call the Gospels. And the Gospels were written by people that either knew Jesus or by people that talked to people that hung out with Jesus. And they wrote down some incredible things that Jesus said. So even though we can't see Jesus, we can see his words and we can put them into practice. Your Bible is a book full of wisdom and stories that shows us a better way to live. And most importantly, the Bible points to Jesus. If we believe in Jesus, God will give us his very spirit to live inside of us. Crazy, right? And God's Holy Spirit inside of us can help us make wise choices and can help us selflessly love the world like Jesus did. And so, in some ways, the Gospels and the words of Jesus are like these blueprints. Right here. The Gospels can help you focus on who Jesus is, and the stories of Jesus can give you some really great ideas on how to love the world around you, how to love your brother or sister, how to be kind to your friends, or even how to love someone that others look down on. That's pretty incredible that 2,000 years after Jesus walked on the earth, we can still read his word, and even though he's not standing right in front of us, we can hear from God. I'll see you again soon, and we'll keep taking a closer look. <laughs> I have some houses to get wet. I want to be wise. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys want to be wise? Now, being wise is more than just being smart, because you guys are all smart. I know you guys know lots of important things, but being wise is being smart, but making really good decisions and using that wisdom. And you know what? One way that we can use wisdom and gain more wisdom is by hearing from God. God has so much wisdom and you can actually get wisdom from God and from hearing from him. So one of the ways that's important that you guys can hear from God is by reading your Bible. Now, how many of you guys have this Bible? I bet a lot of you guys have this one because we give this Bible out to all the Springs kids. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But here's another Bible. This one has lots of cool pictures in it. I bet you guys would love to see that. There's some awesome stories in here and so many cool things that we can learn from God. And did you guys know that the Bible is not just one book, but it's actually 66 books all put together in here. There's stories, there's poems, there's songs. There's so many amazing things that God has put in this Bible for us to learn from. And when we read our Bibles and we learn, we get wisdom and that wisdom helps us make amazing decisions for our life. So you know what guys, it's super important that you hear from God because you guys can hear from God. Not just your grown-ups, not just teachers, but you guys and God has so many amazing things he wants to share with you. Now you know what, we're gonna pray a prayer in a little bit and this prayer talks about how you guys can get to know God even more by inviting him into your life and into your heart. There are three things and they are A, B, C. So A stands for admit. So it's important that you guys admit that you've sinned and that means you've made mistakes. None of us are perfect. None of us do exactly the things that God wants for us to do, but that's why it's important to admit that to God. And B stands for believe. You guys and me, we need to believe in Jesus. Believe that God sent him to die on a cross and to pay the price for our sins and that we can live forever with him in heaven one day. So that's believe. And the third one, we're gonna say C stands for choose. Okay, choosing God, choosing to follow God with your whole life and with your whole heart. Because when you guys choose God and you make that decision to invite him into your heart, you can choose him in any situation and in anything that you face all day and every day for the rest of your life. 
So we're gonna pray this prayer together, and if you've never prayed it, you guys can pray right along with me. And even if you prayed it before, you can pray with me too. All right, you guys ready? Let's pray. Say, dear Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I believe in you. Please forgive me, help me to grow every day and be more like you. Thank you for everything you've done in me and for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, you guys. Thank you so much for praying that prayer with me. That is the best choice you guys could ever make. And I know even just praying this prayer, you guys are gonna get so much wiser because you're gonna be hearing from God and he's gonna be telling you so many amazing things about you and things that you can be doing. Now, if you guys don't have a Bible, Remember what I was talking about earlier? Send us a message. Get Talk to your parents, ask them to email us or contact us on social media and we would love to get you a Bible of your very own which you can read, look at the pictures. You can even use an app or a tablet to access the Bible if you don't have one and that can help you learn more about God and where you can hear from Him. All right, I hope you guys have an awesome day. We got one more thing planned for you guys so let's take a look. Well said! Samantha! What do you got there, buddy? <laughs> uh, it's a whistle. But it's broken. Let me see that. <laughs> it's, it's broken. Well... We've done all we can do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, <laughs> Not so fast, Wilson. It's broken. We can throw broken things away. That's our right as scientists. Okay, first of all, that is totally not true. And second, it's not broken. There's only a certain spectrum of sound that we can hear. See, the whistle? Whistle's not broken. We just can't hear the sound that it makes. Why would anybody make a whistle you couldn't hear? For dogs. Hey, boy! Oh, see, this is my dog, Puplo Pupcaso. <laughs> he loves people. He really does. So You're so cute. Good Let's boy. go, boys. Come on. Let's Ooh. go. There are so many sounds that we can't hear. Uh, in fact, as we get older, our ears don't really work as well as they used to. So there are some sounds that people only under 25 can hear. So uh, check this out. I don't hear anything. We both hear that sound that it hurts our ears what so are you bad. Saying? The sound stopped. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously. I know that. We know that because we're both young and cool and hip. <laughs> there are all sorts of sounds all over the spectrum. It's amazing to think that, uh, that, uh, this and, uh, this <laughs> and, uh, even this. <laughs> They're all just vibrations in the air. Okay, what are some of your favorite sounds? Oh. I like the sound a basketball makes when it goes through the hoop. That's delicious. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I love the sound of a high five. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, what person do you like to hear from? Oh, I love to hear from my granny. I feel like she, I can still hear her singing to me when I close my eyes. You are my Samantha. Oh, my well, that's lovely, Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> you make me I like hearing my cat snore. Yes, so cute. I just want to mush your face up against my face until we have the same face and we're the same person, dude. What? I love my cat. She's adorable and I love her and she's a cutie. Okay, well, uh, well, what about you? Who do you like to hear from the best? And what are some of your favorite sounds? They can be like uh, this, or this, or even this. 
Whatever noise you pick, there are no wrong answers because all of our eardrums are made differently. Just like all of us, we're all made differently. So to pick out all those little differences, all you gotta take is a closer, closer look. look. Hey guys, it's been so fun learning about sounds today and how we can hear from God. Now we've got a fun little craft we're gonna do. You guys ready? You're gonna need two disposable cups. You're gonna need some string, any kind of string that's long as it's not stretchy, you can use thread even. We need some scissors, some tape, and if you have them, some paper clips. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a parent to help you with this part, because it's a bit tricky. You're gonna poke a hole. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your string, cut a piece of string, and if you have a paper clip, you're gonna need that in a second. You're gonna thread the string. We're gonna tie the paper clip to the string. All right, now I need my tape. We're gonna tape the paper clip, or if you don't have it, tape the string directly to the inside of your cup. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you can do the same to the other end on the, of your other cup. And what we have created is a phone. This is not a cell phone, but it's gonna work. All right, so what you're gonna do is you need two people, so grab a friend, brother or sister or parent, and one of you is gonna talk into the cup like this. Hello, can you hear me? What's my favorite sound? I can hear from God. And the other person puts the cup on their ear and they're gonna hear you. So however long you make your string, that's how long you can stand apart. Now the trick is, make sure the string is nice and tight and you talk nice and loud. All right, it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to hear what you guys do. Get it here, how you do. So make sure that you guys send us a message. We'd love to hear how it goes for you. And can't wait to see you guys next time. Have fun, bye you guys. <laughs>